finance department that they were in, they had a very little of their economy has been shaped by colonial experience in a peculiar way that continues today. Mm-hmm. Okay? All right, the other colonial experiences in Asia and Latin America, these are economic countries where they discovered that they had their own internal organic. Right. And they had relationships for totally different domestic mm-hmm. mm-hmm. businesses so that they were made to now look outside to provide raw materials to the outside and convince things to the outside. And they are really so. And even as I depend on the police of New Orleans, they start to reinforce them. And so any attempt, whether it's in the uh, the progress of leaders, right. it's in both in Canada and Africa, any attempt to try to keep them equal. And so we are together in commonly defining the national economy as primary community, export dependent economy, whether it's a capital tax or even tourism. So even Canadian is dependent on soil in the European industry. Yeah, exactly. Both their profits and the results are with and it is not here. So what we have in common is how we strategically define consciously. Mm-hmm. Our position in the sense of already defining it and it's quite a very structured so that can work together. And what is more common is that the only way we can do that is we need to look to each other. Agree. As, as the related resources, for example. My famous example is the way in which you and the bank are one of the You must have found all your chemical industry, not as a product, but as a product that are around it. Nigeria has a very big gas, which are oil, mm-hmm. and the plastic industry, but we don't speak to each other. They yeah. are lost because of technology. From China to Bank, there are so many different things that are happening. We need to insist on planning in the process. How do we develop a strategy on our common needs and experiences for transforming our place in the international community? No, I completely regret it, but, but I think he does hit the nail on the head. I don't have any much more to add because I think, you know, that really is the, the crux of the matter. Um, you know, that kind of historical kind of legacy that, that kind of binds us and our insertion into the global economy um, and the, the, the need for us. Um, as a, a, a grouping of countries who also face quite common issues, huh? you know, at the very, at, at, you know, at, at, at the very level of people and their livelihoods, when you look across the ACP, the issues are very much the same. So there's a lot of commonality in that. Um, you know, how do we kind of ensure that it, when we we can work together um, and and do strategies that will again address those same um, commonalities? Yeah, I agree, and I think a good starting point really is for us instead of the thought of it being negotiations post quotable on just one track. We should be negotiating um, multilateral treaties between CARIFOR and African states. Exactly, yes. Proximity and so on. Around trade, around investment, around technical services and and lasting kinds of things like that. Um the tourism and a whole range of other things like that. Those are the things that we should be putting priority on. In other words, what are the things that would um, spur our own indigenous development and uh-huh. productive capacities and so on. Um, and, and, and forget some of those other negotiations for the right. Yes, we could engage that, but let us see what we could engage between and amongst ourselves. But David, I think that would also then turn the, dis- the discourse a little bit, you know, make it different, right? So that we can then begin to shape an agreement that facilitates <laughs> our own development pr- uh, imperatives yeah. rather than that being shaped then by that overall negotiating okay. negotiating yeah. space. I think that's that's that, that's critical. And it becomes a common reference point for how we do it, not only with you, but with America. But, but, um, exactly, so exactly. Because we can replicate that as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, the starting point is in the history. Okay? Our government and the movement are caught in the trap of responding to each other through you. We need to develop relations that will make us respond to each other directly. So for instance, how would a trade union movement, how would an NGO, how would producers association, and how would farmers groups begin to develop ways of sharing yes. our challenges? Our challenges, those same common challenges we're talking and about before. That, that, that network is called called ACP network in the starting point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and before, of course, the, the challenge was we getting people to come together in a single space, right. which was hugely expensive. Right. But now with the technology, we can we can we can communicate, and, and you know. So if we had simultaneous 
assemblies of people in different mm -hmm. countries linked by by by, by you know the communication technology. Yeah. We could actually communicate. So if this session here was simultaneous with one in, right that in, happened in, in Africa or somewhere Africa, else, yeah. Africa, then the learnings could be shared mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a more rapid way. And I mm -hmm. think we have to begin to think very much outside the box as to how we build those relationships of solidarity. Yeah. I think and amongst they, younger people too. Exactly. Because, because some of us are too serious, right? But some of us have been around for so long that we need another generation to engage in that, in yeah. that process. Of, and David is what you said before. I like the word that you use. What is conscientious? I'm not sure. If it, I, I, I think yes. exactly. I think I think that is something that we have to spend some time on. I think that there has been so much of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, so much in misinformation given about our regions and our and our people. Fake news. Fake news. <laughs> that you know that is something that we have to perhaps address and begin to share information just basic information about our culture and the things that are similar as opposed to those that are that are different um, about us and then we also have to be able to work across those networks that already exist so you have the african union network that exists um you know cpdc that is here you have strong trade union movements etc and use them to kind of really go before and build those strong networks for everybody else then to kind of kind of follow and i think that will allow us to lay the platform for, for future work as well huh?